The current fighting is very severe. They are trying to take our headquarters by using heavy weapons, and not just our headquarters. They are also trying to eliminate some of our armed forces, like those in the 3rd Brigade and the 6th Battalion, which we consider the arms and the legs of our headquarters. The Burmese government has invited you to join peace talks. Under what conditions would you be willing to do that? We in the KIO waited for proper peace talks for 17 years during the last ceasefire. That's why we're trying to get not just peace talks, but a political dialogue with the government. That's why throughout this fighting, the KIO has been saying we are not interested in peace talks, but in political negotiations. When we have that, which is the goal of all the country's ethnic groups, then there will be peace. The Burmese government keeps saying we must disarm and accept a ceasefire. We had a ceasefire with them for 17 years. We wasted valuable time waiting for them to hold political talks with us, but they never did. So when the Burmese government talks about peace, what it means is disarming the ethnic groups and a ceasefire. We don't accept that. We have been struggling to get a political dialogue. Now, just recently, President Then Sein promised that the Burmese military would not take, would not crush the words he used, Liza. Do you believe him? For the KIO, it is not that important whether they decide to take Liza or not. In the past, during our revolutionary journey, we have moved our headquarters to different locations. So President Ten Sen's promise that the government will not take Liza is just to please the international community. By taking over our military outposts around the town, the Burmese military is already trying to control Liza. The most important neighbour is China. Now, China, of course, has good relations with the Burmese government, but it's also, for many years, had good relations with the KO as well. What role do you want China now to play to ease the situation that you're in. China is the biggest country on our border, and there are Kachin communities on both sides of the border. That's why we have hope and trust in China as a large neighbor. But today, China is just following the Burmese government. We are very disappointed by this. Even now, Though we are battling against a powerful Burmese army right next to our headquarters, the Chinese keep telling us to accept a ceasefire. Constantly being told to disarm in this situation is making us feel desperate. We can see that these Chinese statements come from their close relationship with the Burmese government. That's why we're disappointed, even though we still believe and trust in China. We can never change the fact that we share a border with China. The KIO is on this side, the Chinese on the other. The Kachin people will be here forever, so it is important for China to help us with our goals. As long as they keep saying only what the Burmese government in Nepido, far away from them, wants them to say, and they neglect people nearby, there will never be peace. As the Kachin on their side of the border becomes more sympathetic to the situation of the Kachin here, there could be instability in China, as the Kachin becomes more agitated about this conflict. To ensure stability along our border, we would like the Chinese to be more supportive of us.